got the basic layout done. I figured there's no reason to leave it on the engine. It's makes it more difficult to work on. There's your injectors. There's six pairs of wires here, one through six. Here's your crank angle sensor. There's your TPS. There's the mass airflow. That's on down and around. This long one here is the fuse link back to the battery. That's the uh, cylinder head temperature sensor. I left that long enough. You can actually, I think I made it so long you could probably go from either the cylinder head position on the uh, uh, spark plug side or in the thermostat position if you don't have that head on it. Whatever. I still need to put the wires. I, I'm still missing the wire to put in the uh, knock sensor. I, that'll have to go in there. That's the only sensor that's not in. Uh, here's your mat. Here's your your math. That's the math. That's the um, here's your cylinder head sensor. This is the crank angle sensor. There's your throttle position sensor. Here's all your grounds to the uh, to the ejectors. So those all will get attached to the uh, computer pins, and then there's still, of course, a bunch of pins on the computer that, that control the uh, that get battery positive and battery and battery grounds and relays. But that's about it. I mean, none of the internal wires are soldered together, and nothing's firm, so I can easily cut and shorten it. But again. The most difficult part for me for doing a wire harness anyway is getting all the, the wire to the right lengths and not wasting an enormous amount of wire in the process by just making everything super extra long, you know. So I try to get it approximately the correct length. But yeah, it's a pretty simple wire harness, really. There's not that much to it. Uh, that's a tribute to, you know, using an older computer. Yeah, I know it's not as, uh, it's not as uh, programmable and yeah, it doesn't have ODB2 and all that kind of fun stuff, or it doesn't. It's probably, it's probably just not as good a computer. In general. You know, it's not, it doesn't even have a sequential injection. You know, so. But I think it's actually it's kind of weird. I think this has a, a combination batch fire slash sort of half sequential. You know. Um, so anyway, that's that. That's the uh, setup. You know, what I don't have it here. Is the O2 sensor? Huh. I gotta get the O2 sensor and the knock sensor. I think those are the two sensors are missing. Then I gotta be slow. I'm gonna do about EGR and idle up. That's the only other thing I haven't really made my mind on yet. I'm still looking into that. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.